Folks, we are talking to the king of Gary, Indiana. Self-proclaimed, but I'll give it to him anyway. I want to hear about his latest trip to Gary, Indiana. I know he's out there for five days or so looking at various projects, getting a multifamily up and going, I believe. Mm -hmm. So, Millennial Mike, king of Gary, Indiana. What's what? Yeah, no, I it, it was a great trip. It was very productive. You know, it's funny. People ask me all the time, how often do you go out? Because I invested a distance. I'm a long distance real estate investor. I live in Seattle, invest in Indiana. People ask me all the time, how often do you go to Indiana? And do you have to see properties before you buy them? And I always tell them, no, you could do it all virtually based off of your trusted boots on the ground and having the right people doing inspections. I don't make it out there that often, but I'm finding now I'm trying to make it out there every six months. And I'll tell you why. It's not because of the reason people think. Most people think it's, oh, you need to go look at your projects. You need to go look at the properties and you need to look at them before you buy them. Absolutely not. The reason that it's more and more important for me to go to Indiana is to check in with my team, to massage the relationships with the people that I have there on the ground. I go for five days. I spend 30 minutes looking at a project. I spend hours going to lunch, meeting up with people, uh, hanging out. Whatever it is that makes sure they get the FaceTime they need to make sure that I'm still at the top of their mind and that they have a good relationship with me, that is the reason that I like to go. And primarily, I go now to build new relationships and maintain existing ones. I'm so glad you brought that up. Real estate investing is a people business. I've admitted, I admitted in my book, One Rental at a Time, that I thought the answer lived in Excel. I thought the I thought it was math. I thought math would make me a millionaire. It's the people. And being the king of Gary, Indiana from Seattle is hard if you're never in Gary, Indiana. Right? It's like, how does that work? Right. Um, so I think getting there once every six months, it's about the people. Mm -hmm. And and it's about documenting, right? I know one thing you do a lot of really well is creating content. Mm -hmm. And I just want people to realize what you're doing in Gary, Indiana could be done in any other city by anybody else. Mm -hmm. You guys got to watch Millennial Mike because, again, I think this, this is really – this is important. Mike, your channel is monetized, right? Yes. Um, you will eventually create a course. I keep hearing from people you're creating a course. Yes. So it's, yes. it's coming. You might write a book one day. Maybe. I hope. No. <laughs> You will, if even if million I have to help dollar you. cop. <laughs> yeah, million dollar cop. But here's the deal: all of those things will produce income, but it's the relationships, it's the deal flow, folks. The reason that Mike has a content in YouTube and courses and all of this is deal flow. Deal flow will dwarf anything else he is doing, and frankly, because he's the king of Gary, Indiana, one of the things I'm doing is creating a series called Buying Vegas. I'm doing this from scratch. I start recording tomorrow because of what Mike did in Gary, Indiana. I'm just going to do it my way. I want the deal flow. I think the deal flow that I get from Vegas in a year will dwarf any income I get from all my other sources. It's deal flow. That's why you do what you do in Gary, Indiana is deal flow, right? So I didn't know when I started my YouTube channel, how powerful of a tool it was going to be for me, especially when it comes to networking. Initially, I set out with a goal of I just wanted to document the process of going from a broke guy with no real estate who was a renter with $1,000 in my bank account to see how long it took to become financially free due to real estate. So I started making videos. Well, I made videos about everything I did. And as I started to buy in Gary more and more and more, almost all my videos centered around Gary. And what ended up happening was I became somewhat popular online for that small little niche. And this is a point that we brought up at your event that you had in Vegas was you need to create a YouTube channel, not because you're going to get 50,000 plus subscribers like Michael Zuber, but because you might get 300 subscribers in your city. And if those 300 people know your name and know you buy deals and know your buy box, they come to you first. And the last six deals I've done have all been off market through my network 
And it came to me because of YouTube or Instagram in some way. It was how I met someone who referred me or however it was. Six deals in a row, all from YouTube. So let's so let's try to put a number behind that. So these six deals, how bo- how far below market do you think they were the day you bought them? Well, I mean, it ranges obviously, but as much as 90% below market to like 50% below market, just insanely uh, off market deals. So over a hundred thousand bucks in equity. Oh, for, way more than that. Well, well, let's put a number on it. Okay, I, I would say, I would say, I mean, I did, I did $90,000 in equity on one deal. Uh, and then, well, that I mean, it's probably, it's probably like half a million, which in Gary is huge because that's, you know, Gary's cheap properties out there. So let, let's say it's 400 grand, just so there's, we'll ratchet it back. So how long have you been creating content? Around Gary and how long is 20, that been? since uh, in Indiana specifically since 2020? Yeah. So four years. So you've been creating content for four years in Gary, Indiana. Probably didn't see anything for two or three years. Right. Then the dam broke. Yeah. And now you've been handed, handed four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Oh, the way. Exactly. How much taxes have you been paid, or did you pay on those four hundred thousand dollars? None. Zero, because yeah. it's equity. You right. don't pay taxes. Okay. All right. Well, that doesn't suck. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, how many deals have you got seller financing on since you've been talking about Gary, Indiana? Well, four or five. 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 Hard, hard to do that if people don't trust you. Don't Very know who tough. you are. I haven't yep. seen. Because again, if somebody's going to do seller financing with you, they're going to look you up. Mm-hmm. And they're going to look you up. They're going to spend a couple of hours getting to know you right online. So um, pretty cool. And uh, I think the last deal you just closed on, was it like a five or six unit building? Something like that? Five, yeah, five plex. Yep. Ooh, you're in the, you're playing commercial now. I, for the first time ever. Yes. A five plex. So it's a four, it was a four plex, but had a huge unfinished basement that ran the entire length of the building. And so we got a quote from a contractor to put in a fifth unit in the basement. And they gave us a really competitive bid, the egress windows, fully, you know, multiple entrances, exits, five unit building. It's going to be a three bed, one bath, you know, thousand square foot. So uh-huh. we're taking that up because what it costs to build that versus what it's going to do to the after repair value of that property. I mean, it's going to two or three X the money just by adding that one unit. Um, and then the, of course, what I get in additional rent, uh, it'll be just all the numbers make sense. It's just an easy thing to say yes to very easy. Yeah. And then the last thing, again, it's people, right? It's just like this vortex, right? Once you, you, again, been creating content for four years, but at some point there's just this tipping. You're getting people reaching out to you weekly. Oh, you're yeah. meeting more and more people. Um, just, just, just talk about that importance. Yeah. I mean, I, I had to start a, a Gary Investor Real Estate Facebook page. I'll put the link <laughs> in the description below or comments below if anybody wants to see that. I mean, I've had so many people that message me on Instagram, message me on Facebook, and I'm, awesome. I'm tired of back and forth one to one. I finally got the point. I'm like, all right, Gary Investor Real Estate page on Facebook, boom, done. Calling it good. Anybody who wants to join, they can. We can all chat in there. We could be a community resource for people to share contractors and deals and and whatnot. But yeah, relationships are what matters. I was out there recently. I talked to a 22 year old lady who graduated with two engineering degrees from Purdue. And she grew up in Gary and she started her own real estate investing company and she's remodeling and making content awesome. around it. And, you know, so I sat and interviewed her and I interviewed local property managers and local contractors. And we'd love to do some, some segments featuring local tenants. That's the only one that's a little trickier because I'm not actually there. Yeah. But the point that I would make when it comes back to a full circle, why it's important for you to make a YouTube channel about the specific area you invest in. If you make videos on YouTube about investing in real estate, you'll never even break the top 100 pages of results. You got to be Michael Zuber with 50,000 subscribers before you're finally getting on to some of those top pages of results. If you make a video titled how to invest in real estate, but if you make a video titled how to invest in real estate in Gary, Indiana, the top 100 results are all me. I Mm -hmm. own the search terms for that. I own the algorithm for that. And so my advice to you is, not you, but to the viewers, obviously, my advice is make videos about how to house hack in Boulder, Colorado. 
make videos exactly. about how to do the burr strategy in Hardin County, Kentucky, and own the algorithm for your little part of the real estate market online. Yeah. Again, the other thing I will tell you there, maybe you're not interested in real estate investing, but maybe you have a passion. Share your passion. It will never feel like work. Don't forget it's a people business. Don't forget have, being a part of a community is awesome. I'm really happy to hear you have a Facebook page because again, the community it's all about the community at the end of the day. All righty, the king of Gary, Indiana, wrap us up. Uh Anybody who wants to follow my journey and learn more about investing at a distance, how to get started in Seattle like I live and invest in the Midwest, pick your city. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Millennial Mike here on YouTube. I teach people how to do it. All the videos documenting from A to Z are right there. I'll do everything I can to help you because as Zuber has told me, his goal is to help 10,000 people. And if he helps me and I help more, I'm an extension of his goal. We just spread that down the line. There you go. Thanks, brother.